Hey everyone! I have um, been wanting to do this video for you guys for a while now so I finally got the time and all the products together so that I could do it for you. Um, this is pretty much going to be my daily routine that I do to wipe off makeup and my skincare for my face. If you guys care to see a skincare routine for like my body like what I do high ex or obviously I'm not going to show you how I exfoliate my body but like to show you what I put on my skin and how I care for it in a hair video just let me know um because it's very simple and it's something that actually I do and it makes my skin super soft and I always have people tell me I have soft skin so um let me get started so there are two things that I do one I do an everyday skincare routine um that pretty much just you know remove my makeup using my toner lotion and so on then there's the one that I do in in a little more like detailed more in depth um like exfoliating or steaming and and such so I'm gonna start off with my everyday and my everyday is pretty much I used to just go in the shower and wash my face off because I've never been the type of girl that just you know does the whole wipes and all that good stuff until uh, Target just sent me these ponds little towelettes and um, I got them last week I think and these towels smell so 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 good and they're quilted so when i use them what i do is i just kind of go in a circular motion and the little quilt of it kind of helps exfoliate so one of these alone removes my whole makeup and it does remove eye makeup too i don't know if it removes permanent let me see or not permanent waterproof it doesn't say but um, I've actually had a light amount of uh, waterproof mascara on my eyes and it has removed it but I do wash after so now that I have these and I am going to be using these and um, I love them uh, so I grab one of these and then I just you know exfoliate go around and then I you know wipe it all off and then the times that um, I do have a lot of mascara on because I you know cake my mascara on because I have very short full lashes so I have to do whatever I can to make them look nice and big because I don't use false lashes I don't know how <laughs> so I use either one of these here it's the all may wipes or the all may, uh, sorry the Neutrogena oil free remover and you guys have probably seen both of these around these are just little pads here and they're very tiny I use two or three per eyeball like a little patch <laughs> so they just smell regular I guess there's not a very like pleasant or not pleasant smell to them you know and there's 120 in, in this little tube here and I use these um, more than I use this because this just kind of like I don't know it just I don't know I mean it's good stuff don't get me wrong but it just I feel like it leaves like that oily residue around my eye even though they both say they're oil free they both have a uh, coconut and not what am i saying coconut <laughs> cucumber and aloe in them and they do not sting your eyes either one or these little pads they don't so i love all of these um <clears throat> eye removers okay so after i you know take off my eye makeup if i even do use those i jump to my youth code right here l'oreal youth code gel it foams up pretty good once you lather it up and it looks like this and I'm almost done this is my second or third bottle and this has probably lasted me like four or maybe possibly five months um, I just go two little pumps and then you just lather it up really well because once you lather it up it foams up really good and it says that it gently exfoliates you know um, your face even though it just feels like gels there's no beads there's nothing that little grainy uh, stuff there's nothing and it's just gel so you just you know I just go in a circular motion around my face you know in my forehead and all and then I just do my eyeballs and then <clears throat> that's that's uh, pretty much for my face wash so then when I get out the shower the first thing I do is I you know dab my face because I don't wash my face in the sink or nothing like that like you see on TV I do it all in the shower <clears throat> then I get out and I use my C booth toner that I have mentioned in my favorites and I can't live without this stuff this is the best thing um, I've ever used when it comes to toning my face so I spray this on crazy when I mean crazy I probably just go like like 15 times and I'm not joking so then 
while this is setting in you know I run around do my lotion on my body and that because I let it soak in all the way so after that I use my moisturizer I have tried many moisturizers oil free um, for oily for combination all kinds and everything seems to either break me out like I have a little allergic reaction right around this area here or it makes me oily so I just went back to what I normally do and I my esthetician was actually like ew that's gross you shouldn't be using that <clears throat> excuse me it's um, not good for you it is good for me I love this and I swear by this this is what goes on my face here on my vanity I have it in a, a little uh, plastic thing here but this goes on super thin it's not like cakey or creamy or nothing especially when it's hot and humid the last thing you want is something extra cakey and sticky on your face so I use Johnson & Johnson's baby lotion just in the pink bottle I don't use any other color and and to tell you how light it is on my skin is once the toner sets in I rub it all over my face I run around do whatever brush my hair then I do it again <laughs> and if I'm gonna be doing my makeup right when I sit down again I do it I'm, I'm like a freak when it comes to lotion my hands always have to be moisturized and so does my face in the bottom of my feet I don't know why so this is what I use this works I mean amazing for me I love it so if you guys are looking for something and you have that oily combination or sensitive skin, I suggest you try this. I don't know <laughs> if um, it's weird, but I love it and I stick to this. I have like 10 or 15 bottles of these <laughs> because that's all I use. And I also use this for my body, but sometimes I do use other ones. And I will do that in a skincare video if you guys care for it. So that there is my face and um, after I brush my teeth what I like to do at night is put this on my lips which is the little Vaseline um, lip care and yes I do grab one of these little puppies here which is my favorites but they're not as thick as this so um, since I do exfoliate my lips sometimes I like to let this soak in throughout the night so you know it keeps my lips nice and moist so that there is just my basic every night it may seem like a lot because I have like 20 different things but so let me do a quick for acne if you do have acne and I randomly just get them around that time of the month lucky us girls so I don't have them all the time but when I do these two things here are what I run to and I have tried oxy I've tried Clearasil, I've tried everything you probably have tried and more what I do is and let me tell you really quick, I do not, if I am going to be doing, if I have a zit, I hold off on doing my toner because I'm going to do this toner first because they're both toners. Then I finish it off with this one. So this is the um, Neutrogena Acne Stress Control Triple Action Toner. It treats acne even before it emerges. It says it eliminates oil and shine and refreshes and soothes. Um, some people claim to use this as an everyday toner. I do not recommend it because you will dry up. And I mean dry up to where, especially if you use powder, you're going to start looking like uh, you're shedding or something. So I do not recommend, do not recommend, again, to use this as an everyday basis. When I was trying to use this for the T-zone to cut down my oil, it actually... Um, made my face super dry and I was only using it every other day then I cut it down to two times a week and it still made me dry so no only use this if you see something coming out or if you have a lot of acne but then you're probably gonna have to moisturize so I don't know I'm not your dermatologist but I'm gonna show you what works for me so I just grab this on a cotton ball and I just rub it around those problem areas and I let that set in and then that's when I go with this because I can't live without this then I take this Mario Badesco, I believe is how you say it, drying lotion. And as you can see, it has this little pink powder stuff and the rest is clear. And the reason this looks new is because it is. I have like 10 of these things here at the house because um, my daughter, my husband, and I swear by this and love it. Um, it's about $17 or $18. You can get it at Ulta or you can get it on their website. And what you do is you dip your Q-tip all the way down to where it touches the pink thing and slowly bring it up and just dot those areas. So you're going to look like you got connect the dot going on on your face. But the next morning when you wake up, this stuff is going to stop that zit or break out from even 
going any further or coming out anymore or turning red or whatever it's gonna stop it like right there it's gonna be like uh-uh you're not coming through so then you try it you you know the next night and by the third night pretty much your zit's gone like i had one where somewhere around here coming through and i put it on last night and it's done i'm not even exaggerating check the reviews on it okay so those are the two things now for days that i am going to go more into detailed with my face because i do do that i do do that <laughs> because i do put on foundation and now that i'm experimenting with all kinds of different things my face is probably wondering what am i doing so i try to exfoliate at least twice a week and i have a special one that i use for my body but i also have used this one here which is by the body shop and it's in uh, the olive one and i fell in love with the smell of this it's a very weird olive smell but i just i love 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 it obviously you can tell okay i do have other ones i usually stick to like the coconut or brazilian nut those are my favorite and i have like five different kinds upstairs so but what i do with this is after i wash my face in the shower and this is only two two times or so a week i grab it i dot it around my face i grab my fingers and then i just start going in a motion like this and then i just you know circles and then you know just like this all around and then i'll just like go like this and then i just you know crap then when i go to my forehead since this is the area that i'll break down the most i use the palm of my hand to go very hard on it and i just you know go around my temples and my forehead and just do it like that and then if i'm going to shave my legs i let that set in so i'll go shave my legs and let it set in because i like that um olive smell and and that feeling that it leaves once it's done so i let it sit in for about two or three minutes then i wash it completely off and then i'm set with my whole um exfoliating i also exfoliate my lips and i just use my elf lip exfoliator which works amazingly um there is other exfoliators out there they run about 15 and 20 dollars and i'm like hell no i'm not paying that much and this one's almost gone and it kind of smells like coconut you know you're not coconut sorry like you know your average brazilian nut um what's it called uh exfoliator there so that is what i use for my uh lip exfoliator and that's pretty much it when it comes to exfoliating my face but um, on times that I want to use a mask, and I think I've only done a mask a few times, and this is what I have been using, it's the clay mask, avocado and oatmeal, and you can just find this at any drugstore. And um, I just, you know, put this on my face, leave it on, and then your face just gets super stiff and hard and you can't even smile. But this works good for me, and then when you wash it off, your face just feels super soft. So... Um, I think that's pretty much it for my face routine. Everything here has worked wonders for me and I stick to everything here. So if you guys have any questions and like I mentioned, if you guys care to see a body and hair um, care uh, video, just let me know and I will be more than happy to provide one for you guys. So I will see you guys later. Bye.